is God. Katonda ye katonda. And God has a system to everything. Era katonda aline enkola oba system eyabuli chimu. When he created you, Bwe akutonda, he never created you to walk behind like this. Te akutonda kutambula ngo dda che nyuma nyuma boti. Do you can? Ni wangu badenga nacho chisobola. But it is impossible. Nete chisoboka. Because he never put eyes to look behind. Kubanga te yakuteka ko maso kulaba mabega. And this is where the problem comes from. Era wano obizibwe buva. Whenever you think, buli rwalo woza you don't think forward. You think what happened to you behind. Those things have passed. They will never come back. Whenever you want to start a business, you begin now to think of how much you have failed. And you don't think of how much you can achieve. The eyes are in front. The eyes are not behind you. Let's talk about the future. Jesus is in your future. He's calling you and waiting for you. I'm reading Genesis chapter 1. Verse 1. In the beginning God created heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light and there was light. And God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness. You are educated? Wasoma. Lodging your application? No way you can say Cancel, cancel, cancel. That doesn't mean that you never get a job. That is just a beginning. Hallelujah! So that is the beginning. That is the beginning. You pray. Usaba. The leg is still paining. That doesn't mean that you will not get healed. That, that is the beginning. Say this is the beginning. This is the beginning. And I know with God all things are possible. My name is Timothy Kinoti from Kenya. Prophet, since I fell, I got an accident some two years ago. I broke my neck with spine injury. And since then, I was paralyzed my whole body. My body has never been the same. Now I'm walking, but with difficult, too much difficult. I cannot sit well. I have even problem with my bladder, where I cannot hold. Urine well. Even this is my medical report showing why I was in Kenyatta Hospital. I was admitted there for four months. This is a medical report from Kenyatta National Hospital. In a Baloya Dwell of Kenyatta National Hospital. It belongs to our brother Timothy Kinoti, whereby the doctors did an examination upon him and they found that he has got C4, C5 anterolysthesis, which is slipping of the discs, the fourth and the fifth bones of the neck slipped over each other. And when they did the CT scan, they found that he got a fracture in the fourth bone of the neck. He has so much pain, and this was all confirmed by the doctor, Dr. Mutende. You can see the difficulty with which Mr. Timothy is rising up. Remember, he has told us he has got numbness in the body, and he cannot turn this neck at all. It's right before the man of God receiving a prayer for his healing. Madness. Watch what is happening. Every pain, every numbness is being uprooted. In Jesus' mighty name. Something new is happening in his life. He has got a smile on his face. He has removed the neck collar. Well, come, come. Thank you, Jesus. 
Muito disso. Trabalhei assim. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Trabalhei isso. Kenoti from Kenya. Timothy Kmathi from Kenya. I got injured two years ago. I broke my spine and I was paralyzed for my body, all my body. I've never walked again for at least, I think I started walking one year ago, but with a lot of difficult. Even when I was here, I came here, I was difficult. But today, I see God has done a lot. Thank you, Jesus. How the neck now? The neck. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This is my mother. What really happened? Before you got that accident or whatever problem, what were the arguments of the house? Because there were arguments on the house. And uh, this left families bitter or people bitter. Because yes. if we don't go back and remove this issue, it will not do good. You have people to forgive. Mm. My name is Timothy Kenoti from Kenya. What the prophet is saying is true. I have a house which in my rural home. It's a, a, a simple house. Mm. For only one bedroom and sitting. Mm. Yeah, for a young man. Mm -hmm. Because it, I was built to that house when I, I finished class 8. Yes. So it was my circumcision house and my home now. So that, that's, uh, that's what I can say. It's my home, in my rural home. Mm -hmm. Because my dad built it for me. But my aunt came and removed the house without consulting me. He put in his place. He gave his boy. It's a timber house. It's a timber house. Oh, yeah, it's a timber house. So they they, they removed it, it. Yeah, and, then they and they took it. it. Yeah. You now it's son. The son of my aunt is using. My name is Amon Kakinoti. Timothy is my first son. Mm. And the house you are talking about, man of God, it is very true because his father died in 2019, and. They have been complaining and taking everything, complaining about him, saying he's the only son, he cannot be given everything. So from that time he fell, and, this, and that is the, his problem. That, that is why the professor says, <laughs> they should talk about the house issue, <laughs> and uh, he should now forgive those people. 11.25 Mark And whenever you stand praying mm. If you have anything against anyone mm. Forgive him mm -hmm. That your father in heaven may also forgive you Your trespasses mm -hmm. But if you do not forgive Neither will your father in heaven Forgive your trespasses Man of God what you have said is true My name is Timothy Kenoti from Kenya We are that what they are saying is true. I had a lot of pain in my heart <laughs> for them because even the shamba that I have in my home, they are complaining because my dad had only one son, which is me. So they, they are saying that I have a big land or whatever. Everything that I have in that shamba, they just misuse because I'm not there. Even when you have fruits, if I go and, and plant that shamba, I will not harvest anything. That is what I said. There is still a big war behind him. Yes, He needs to balance by forgiving them that the Lord Jesus may revive him and give him what is his. Though you were here to your father, but you have 
your own portion of blessing from God. Now I will reinstate you in Jesus name and give you your own blessing which has no bent. Yes? Otherwise forgive them. For five years just leave them. You are coming back here within the two years to give your testimony. Yes? So this is the issue now. We want to be put right. Say, Lord Jesus, I forgive them. Lord Jesus, I forgive them. Let them also forgive me. Let them also forgive me. For the salvation. For the salvation. Of my soul. Of my soul. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are giving me my portion. You have given me my portion. So here I give you a portion. Put your hands. Take away the mikonojo. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for setting me free. In Jesus' holy name. Now you'll be able to walk. Office, give me one thousand dollar. Office, move your dollar. Office, give me one thousand dollar. Office, move your dollar. To help him. To move your bed. Since I, I I got my injury, my urine I've never. Stayed long without my urine coming out. After, After the, the prayers, it came it, and it stopped. Even I am not feeling the way I used to be feeling. Clap for Jesus for this miracle. This is the one thousand dollar to help you. Zino ze dollar lukumi zikuyambe. You are free. Odi wadembe. Tango. We ba zekachonda. Chena langu na ito acheni fa namutosi kutoka na Arabi Kenya. Nimekuwa nikiumia kwa makoti ukonjwa ya arthritis. My name is Jennifer Namutosi from Kenya. I've been suffering with arthritis. Hata niko na medical report hapa ya takitari ya kusema kwamba niko na arthritis na umia mikuu yangu nimeandikiwa nime na takitari so kisa natumia mikuu yangu hata siwezi tembea I have a medical na sikia uchungu hata siwezi I have a medical report here from the doctor to show that I was tested and to prove that I have arthritis I have a lot of pain on my legs I cannot walk properly here is the medical report from County Government of Kiambu from Gatundu Level 5 Hospital. Edward, it's a Gatundu Level 5 Hospital. It's a medical report for our sister Jennifer. She has got this pain in the left knee. The doctor has examined her and they diagnosed her with osteoarthritis of the left knee. And another one, I'm suffering very much the back. My back, even I can't, I can't walk alone. It's a medical report from the hospital. On the screen of a television is a medical report from Medhill Diagnostic and Fertility Center for our sister Jennifer Namtosi, where the clinical information states that she has got long standing lower back ache. So they did an MRI of the lumbar sacrospine and they diagnosed her with straightening of the vertebral column Never associated with muscle spasms. You can clearly see the knee breast. Because she has got so much pain in this knee for a period of 18 years. Well, she cannot walk. Period of 18 years. She cannot walk without support. You can see she's being supported to walk. By the name Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 What's the lady getting up very fast? Shall we are you say a Thank you, Jesus. He's lifting up the lady who has been helping her. As to him, shall I say one in a day? Thank you, Jesus. Well, I need a suit. Time to run. She said that do care. Once Jesus says yes, I say yes to a gambati. No one can say no. The one in the gambati need to. She's now removing the knee brace. Remember, she has been wearing it for 18 years. Today is the day to be free from it.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can squat. Can wake up. I can squat alone. Can wake up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for healing me. God be the glory. from Nairobi, Kenya. I have been suffering for 18 years. Even I can't sit for a long time. I thank God. Even the man of God. May but since the child issue, all these things started. You know, you're not it's, true. Come. it's true, the man of God. My name is Jennifer Namtosi from Kenya. That man of God saying it is true, because that was my last born. When I have the pain of a baby, I was feeling the back. From there, that boy is now in form four. And remember the argument. All the time, produce children, produce children. This is what you think. Somebody cannot do his own thing, but just be there, produce children. You see me. This is the last. Mm. That last one is the one who gave me the pain of the back. But remember your complaint before and the argument. <laughs> what you say it is true, the man of God. <laughs> So you ask that you stop on the boy and you never produce again because you want to enjoy your life. <laughs> Have you enjoyed your life? No. <laughs> what you are saying it is through the man of God. Because I am the only who is working, my husband is not working. I was here alone. Even in the last born, I produce there, I found something to sell in the market. Children are gifts from God. You shouldn't urge anything about them. God had given you children for a purpose. And you, you want to enjoy your life. Ask God to forgive you. God forgive me. You wanted all along to be a doctor or a nurse. Uliko unataka uwe daktari ama msaidizi kwa hospitali. Had I been educated. Ukasema kama ningekuwa nimesoma. I would have been a doctor or a nurse. Ningekuwa daktari ama msaidizi wa. Nilikuwa natamani kuwa daktari lakini si kusoma. I wanted to be a doctor. Yes, but I didn't go to so school. God was giving you children who will be doctors. Mungu alikuwa anakupia watoto ambao and you are refusing. <laughs> now do you have the doctor? Sasa uko na daktari. Hapana. There was a girl you were to produce. Kulikuwa msichana ambaye ulikuwa uzai. Called Betty. Alikuwa Beatrice. Alikuwa itwe Betty ama Beatrice. That was the one who was going to be a doctor. Huyo ndio alikuwa akue daktari. And always you are dreaming a kid, a girl. Na wakati wote unaota kuhusu mtoto wa kike. Ni kweli mtumishi na kuanga naota bado ya mtoto. It is true man of God, I always dream about a baby girl. That is the baby girl called Beatrice. 
huyo ndio yule mtoto wa kike anaitwa Beatrice whom you were to produce ambaye ulikuwa uzai become a doctor akuwe daktari become your father your mother akuwe baba wako na mama wako take care of you akulinde na akuangalie sometimes we refuse what is good for us wakati mwingine tunakataa ambacho ni nzuri kwetu my name is Henrietta Matasi 44 years old i come from Kenya i have problem with my knees i went to the doctor he said i have arthritis I can't bend down, I can't kneel down, I can't walk faster. I have eye problem for seven years. It has affected also my kids. I have skin disease for 10 years. It has affected also my kids. And I have allergy for more than 30 years and it have affected my kids. And this is, is the hospital report for my niece. Here is a medical report from Kisumu Diagnostic Center in Kenya to our sister Henrita Madasi, where they did an x-ray of her right knee joint and they made a diagnosis of osteoarthritis with reduced medial tibiofemoral joint space, the space within the knee, the bones of the knee. So this was signed by Dr. J. Okoku. What's the way she's limping and she's wearing this knee brace? The power of God has already touched her. The mighty name Jesus. The mouth. The mighty name Jesus. Christ. Lose your grip. Lose your grip. The mouth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go. Come back no more. Thank you, Jesus. Rise up. You For your friend. In Jesus' name. Rise up, rise up, rise up for your friend. Rising up to her freedom. I must say In Jesus' name. Watch the lady. Walking, running. I'm glad to come. And now removing the knee brace. Yes, Free from the pain. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Climb the stairs. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Lord. Why are you wondering? I was feeling so pain at night. I was sleeping with a pillow inside my leg to support the knees. Thank you, Jesus, for healing. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But I'll remind you that well, where you people use to fetch water, and they use to rest in a tree. My name's Arendriata Matazi. I remember what the man of God is telling me. We had a well where we used to, to fetch water. It was land belonged to my father. But all of a sudden, my grandfather uh, removed us from that place, and he took my father to another place, and that, that place he gave it to my uncle. Remember that tree you are talking about is where we used to go west when we are still young. So this issue brought many issues, many arguments, and witchcraft started entering the family. It's true, man of God. Up to today, your people have bitter headache. Yes, man of God. Others, they have headache one side. Yes, man of God. Yes, my name is Henrietta. My family, where I come from, my father was a witch doctor, and I got married to the family. My father-in-law was a witch doctor. My mother-in-law was a witch doctor, and I myself... That is why I remind you that tree. 
Yes. Because they used to do a lot of witchcraft in that tree. Remember the tree you are talking about? There is a place where my father took me to a witch doctor. There was a tree, and uh, I had the problem with the eyes, and they were going to perform some some magic that they, they can heal my eyes. And they told me, when I see the snake, it is, that's how I will get my healing, but I didn't get any healing from there. What you have said about headache is true. My family has a headache. My mother normally complains about headache. Me, I myself, I normally feel headache, and I drink a lot of water. I feel like I don't drink a lot of water. So your father is a witch doctor? Yeah, he was a witch doctor and he died. And he was telling me when he, he passed away, I have to take the responsibility. So he told of, you also to be a witch doctor? Uh, yes, he told me. Even he, he took me to, he was taking me to the witch doctors to start practicing which man of God, I need deliverance because the time my father took me to a, a witch doctor so that I start communicating with those, those spirits. He took me and I was married to the second husband. And my father asked the witch doctor, will really my daughter get married? Now I was wondering, why is he asking and already I am married? Stop uh, being witch doctor. Where I, is that? Uh, I don't want to mention this. Uh, but I, I want to ask you, where is that God which starts with David you? Man of God, what I have said is true. We used to to worship the God called Were. That is the letter W E R E. Choke the stuff in your Sajakatonda, Twasizan, Katondom, Tonu, Gerinia, Were. That's why I said I don't want to mention it. Yes, but I'll just give you the hint of the name of the little gods you are worshipping. With the name start W. Yes, we believe where is God. The, that time where they were believing where is God there. So where 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 we gonna go? Where they gonna? Mad them, Jesus Christ! Come on! Where out? 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 In Jesus' name. So take, give your love to Jesus. Stop worshiping those uh, small gods. And uh, where is the woman called Mary or Mariam? She's Mariam. She's in Saudi Arabia. She's a lady. She was a girlfriend for, for my first boy. That is not the one I'm talking about. This is a lady among the witches. Others call her Mary, others Mariam, among the witches. Man of God, what you are saying is true. I can't remember their names, but my father used to bring witches. I was sleeping with these ladies in the, my room. The, the old lady? Man of God, what you are saying is true. Mariam is an old woman. She's a witch doctor. She's my aunt. Because I didn't want you, after getting saved, to go to this witch doctor, Mariam. Because she would take you back to witchcraft. She's the one who wants too much you to be a witch doctor. Mm. And she's the one who initiated all the things. It is true, man of God. Even my father used to come here in Uganda with my last brother who followed me, but me, I didn't go there. They were coming with my brother. I, I was, yeah, they were coming too. Now I was supposed to come, but I didn't come to Mariam. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I take you, I take you as my personal savior, as my personal savior, and Lord, and Lord, and from today, and from today, I give my life to Jesus. I give my life to Jesus Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor, why are you wondering? My name is Apostle Brian uh, from Kenya. 
Man of God, I'm amazed. Mm. Uh, since I sat down here, I'm just amazed. The accuracy, how do you even tell the name of the witch doctor that she's an old woman? She gives you another person, you say, that's not the person. And, and, and even if she was forgetting, she comes to remember. Glory be to Jesus. Because 9-9 of 1 Samuel, listen to this. Formerly in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, he spoke thus, Come, let us go to the seer, for he who is now a prophet was formerly called a seer. I talk of the things I see, though I have never been there. Yes, prophet. I know the lady. She puts on chitambala. She puts on. She ties a headscarf. Eh? Yeah, yes, man of God. She puts on the yeah, hand. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, one, one of her eyes has a problem. Yeah. No? Yes, man of God. She has a problem with one eye. This is what the Bible says. I has never seen. I'm reading 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Two. Verse 9. These are the things which people query. But as it is written, mm. I has not seen, no ear heard, no have entered into the heart of man mm. the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Uh, verse um, 7 and 8. But we speak the wisdom of God. Mm. In a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages of our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew. For had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Had they known, they wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory. I'm talking about something I see, something I know. Not something I don't know. So say, I can even remember. So, but, I know. but I've never been there. But I can remember. How many years to go be the glory? Are free? Are free? But don't worry about the baby. It's my last ball. Because the misunderstanding has brought him problem. Where's the father? Uh, the father are you together no that's what i'm saying the misunderstanding had brought him a problem my names are henrietta uh, what, what man of god you are saying is it true i got two kids two girls this one and the other one only this the, their father and they he refused them but that is not their kids. Even the first husband, he because, refused their kids. Because of the witchcraft. When they come, they sleep with you, they see a man killing them. Yeah, he used to complain, I am a witch. Because they see the people beating him, killing them, and say, this is not your wife, leave him. It, it is true, man of God. Even the first husband. And one of them had to go to prison. Yes, man of God. What you are saying is true. The first husband was scared of me. He was saying, he, when he looked at me, he felt like I can kill him. And the second husband, he said that I am a witch. And then he, he just get off and I, they refused all kids. Man of God, what you have said is true. The father of Gloria was, in fact, it is me who took him in the police. Because they, he was calling me a witch, and by that time I had I was not performing witchcraft. But when somebody just see me like this, just say they deny me I am a witch, even without doing anything. So that's why I didn't want too much to get into this issue. I was like this. Mm. Because of many claims. Mm, I said, oh God, what should I do? I, I waited to hear from God. Mm, let me hear from Jesus. Now I'll pray for him later. I don't just pray, pray, pray. I don't want to pray, pray, pray. Pray for this one. Pray. 
I must get a communication from the monster. I do something wrong. Pray, pray for me. I, let me get communication. Otherwise, I will be doing my own job, not his job. Yes. So now you are free. Don't go back to which doctor. There is a witch doctor at the lake. Yes, man of God. And uh, you didn't finish up with him. And you were saying, if all things go wrong, I will go back to him. The man of God, what we are saying is true. I wanted to go back to him because by that time I didn't know the church. And it's around the lake. Don't go back to which doctors. Follow Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. My name is Christine Chebet Ngelech from Kenya. I was diagnosed to go for a surgery of the back. I can't work for long. I can't even stand for long. Here is Sister Christine Chebet Ngelech from Kenya. She cannot rise up a walk without support with difficulty in walking and standing for long. For a period of four years, because she has got severe pain in the back which is radiating down to both legs. You can see she ties this cloth around her back to relieve the pain due to degenerative disc disease with nerve root compression. What's the difficulty she goes through while moving? She can't walk properly because the pain is so, so sharp for a period of four years. She's right before the man of God. Already the healing process has started. Watch her being moved against her will. Being strengthened in Jesus' mighty name. Well, the pain is being uprooted. Time to work. In Jesus' name. <laughs> She's running. Glory be to God. She's now removing the cloth she has yes, been trying to leave the pain. She's filled with a smile. Jesus has done something for her. Yes, so Clap your hands for Jesus. Yeah. I'm, healed. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Oh, hallelujah. Huh? Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus for healing me. My name is Christine Chebet Ngelech from Kenya. I've been having this problem of the back for the last four years. I was diagnosed, I was told to go for an operation. And I said, God, help me. Jesus, help me. Save me, deliver me. Because I know Jesus is my personal savior. I even don't know what to say, but I just want to thank Jesus for what he has done to me. Man of God, I have really suffered for this thing for so long. In fact, I am working in Kenya as an MCA, member of the county assembly. There was a time I was told to take a disability card. I won't say much, but uh, you dreamt. You were 
struggling with the man in the dream. Yes, to destroy. I was struggling with somebody in a dream. But I couldn't understand who it was. A man attacked you. Yeah. He looked like your brother. Yeah. Because yes, man of God. you people had the issues with the father. Yes. Right yes. from over there, there were some issues. But it wasn't your brother. But because of that bitterness, yes, the enemy used the picture of your brother to come and bring all this problem on you. That you may look at your family as they are bad people. That you shouldn't support them. True man of God. I'm Christian Chebet Nelej from Kenya. What the man of God is saying, it is true. I was in a dream and I saw my brother struggling me. And I didn't understand. And then I said, how? How can he come and kill me? How can he come and struggle me? But it was not your brother. It was Satan who wanted to kill you. This true man of because God. Because of the people you were helping. So this is the issue. And you, that time there was somebody who had died. And uh, you went to Barre. After that, they had this man struggling. This true man of God. There was somebody who died, who is a child, whom I, the, the, the child of my brother-in-law, whom I've been supporting so much. But when this child died, uh, I, it, that is where everything started to go wrong. I started having pains. I, uh, in fact, I was the one supporting her, and I also supported the whole funeral because they were looking unto me as the mother of the child. They said, who are you? Mm, you are the one supporting. Okay. You'll see what will happen. Come on. Give us spit out. In the mighty name of Jesus. Devil. Live. Devil, live. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lose your grip. Lose. Come out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. you bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rise up and go. For your are free. The problem. What is the cause? This is the ministry given to Kakande. To tell the problem and the cause. Look at our mom. What's the <laughs> You from this mom mm -hmm. the lady who has helped her people stood for them too much mm -hmm. even the other area where they didn't have water mm -hmm. this woman thought that they get water mm -hmm. this I'm Christine Cheben Ngelech from Kenya I'm a member of the county assembly of Bungoma I just want to tell my fellow Kenyans that God is real. God can do miracle. Today I am testifying what God has done to me. It is true what the man of God said. I've been helping people a lot. I have even a child who is not mine. Three of them. I'm educating them. I took them as my children. It's unfortunate that one died who my husband had married the mother. And people say that I should not take that child because they were thinking that I'm the one who killed the mother. And I told God, no, I didn't kill the mother. God showed them that 
I was not the one. And it is true, God uh, had my prayers. Now when I'm talking like this, that child is still alive. The, fa the family of my husband uh, disowned me and also disowned that child that I'm not supposed to take care of her. My Kenya fellow, I took that child from, I think, one year and a half. That child now, she's in college. She's in Ramoki Institute of Technology. I thank God for what he did. In my home area, we had no water. There was a lot of difficulties in the water. And then we went, uh, there was a, an, an NGO who came, uh, so that we can prepare, we can dig a well somewhere. And then we did it. I, I just joined and I said, let me see if, if this thing is going to work. Right now, my people, my area people there, they are fetching water from that well. So I thank God for that. So don't worry. Now, Kakande Ministries, we are going to dig for you also a well in your area. Because immediately after that town, uh, there is a town where they have no water, they struggle a lot. Yes, we are going to dig two wells over there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. This is the town I'm talking about. This is a road. Goes like this. There's another road here. There's another road here. But these people here, they suffer with the water. What we have thrown here is true. Uh, this is a police station near me. This one? Yeah. And this is it's a road passing by mm -hmm. there. And this is where I stay. Here. Yeah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. We don't have water. The police station, they dug a poor hole, there is no water. I was planning, it was in my plan that so, I wanted to have water around now here. Now, Gabriel TV. Kakano Gabriel TV. Who would do for you to uh, bore a hole? You have offered two boreholes. Amen. So go and tell them yes. and make arrangements. Yeah. By the end of the month, we are there to do the well. Thank you, Jesus. Where is that place called Kept? That's with K. I cannot mention their name proper. It's Kapchonge. Eh? Kapchonge. Kapchonge? Yeah. This is the police station which is called Kapchonge. So we are coming to Kapchonge, right it here. Chiwandi ke wano. Tujja Kapchonge. Tujja e Kapchonge. So we are coming over there, to Kapchong, e Kapchong. To dig two boreholes for the people there Thank to, you, to go be the glory. To go be the glory. There's power in the blood. Rise up. Jesus never walked alone. God never walked alone. God 
is in Trinity. And let me tell you something. The Bible says, Holy men of God wrote as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. What makes these men holy is not this. No, sir. What makes this many holy is the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, they are not holy. I'm reading Second Peter 120. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation. Mm -hmm. For prophecy never came by the will of man, mm -hmm. but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. They spoke, they wrote, they stretched their hands, moved by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> A question? My name is Yvonne from Mombasa, Kenya. Mm -hmm. I need to know how do I nurture my relationship with the Holy Spirit every day. If you love him, keep his commandments. What does your Bible say? Okay, open it. 14, 15 of John. If you love me, mm. keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever so for you what fails you because of the past you have gone through you keep anger and anger frustrates your life this is your biggest problem now whenever you pray you ask to why it happened like that oh god no, I'm not supposed to be like that. Why? Why God? This is your biggest prayer. My name is Yvonne from Kenya, man of God, what you're saying. But first tell us your local name because it has a meaning. My name is Yvonne Atieno Odul. Atieno from my tribe means darkness. And it's very true, I have anger issues. Sometimes small problems. Me, I don't know your explode. name. But they will say, no, no, no. In this room, I have a local name. The local name say what? Darkness. How do you call it in your language? Amatieno. Meaning what? Born at night in darkness. And man of God, what you said, it's true. At times I get very angry. <coughs> so the question you ask, how can I fellowship with the Holy Spirit? How can darkness fellowship with light? <laughs> My prayer is that God may deliver me. May oh have God, why upon the me. children of our mother? It's true. My family, things are a mess. I have my sister, she went to Dubai, but imagine someone staying in Dubai, but no work. My brother is jobless, he doesn't have a job. He was a very intelligent boy, but now he's just living a reckless life. But what is the name? My brother is called Otieno, my sister is also called Atieno. And I've been asking God to deliver my family. In fact, it's been a burden. I've been crying to God every time to have mercy. And also in my family, no one is married. Like now I'm 38. No marriage, even my sister 35, 33, we are all single. Because your mom, when she went to marry your father, man of she God. was not accepted. Yes, man of God, my mom was never accepted in that family. In fact, she had to go and get married to someone else. Even today, I don't know where my father is, how he is. But how do I know all this? Because of the spirit of God in you. Why the children of my mom are like this? Do you know why I've said that? Yes, man of because God. Because your father doesn't have only you children. He has other children. 
You yes. know that or you don't know? Yes, yes, man of God. My father went and married someone else and I hear he has children from that side also. Have you heard of the two kids? Yes, I had. In fact, I had. He got twins. That is very true, man of God. Let the light shine into your life. This is why Jesus comes to us to put light into our darkness. Listen. The people who sat in great darkness. I'm reading Matthew. Four. Verse 15 and 16. The people who sat in darkness. Now they have seen a great light. And upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death. Light has dawned. Let that light come into your life. That's Jesus. That is why you are here to receive that light. And that light is Jesus. You come back here to give your testimony. Why are you crying again? God, I'm, I've been praying and crying out to God that God may look at me. It's been my prayer. Has he done it? Yes, and I'm very happy. My name is Pastor Herbert Saforo Ado from USA. Uh -huh. I've been watching you on YouTube and Facebook. Yes. And I told my wife that I've seen a man of God in Uganda in the prophetic ministry and the working of miracles. And I've never seen anything like that, like prophetic. I've never seen anyone you know, operating in this level before and uh, I told her I have to come here. Originally your phone? Originally from Ghana. Which place is that? Uh, that place is a cropon. Oh from Compong. A cropon, yeah. Mm. A cropon. We had the uh, prophet Twalina Nabi. Who came here in um, nineteen 71. And I saw him in 86 and 87. He so he brought this gospel here. He, his name was Prophet John Obili Yeboa. He came from Ghana. He was born in Konongo. 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 That's right. Uh -huh. I know that. My name is Radim. What does it mean? I know the Lord will open a way for me if I live right for him. So don't worry. Mm. The Lord will put together everything which worries you. And this house issue. It really gives you worry. But since you have come here, the Lord has worked out an answer for you. My name is Pastor Herbert Saforo Ado from the USA. And at the house issue that the man of God talked about, where I live now, um, the owner is going to sell it. We sign a new lease and it's going to end in February next year. So I have to get a new place and we are planning to buy you went and visited three houses. One was this side. And the one a bit inside here. And another one there. We've been visiting places to get a place. That's right. This issue will be settled. 
by the blood of Jesus. Okay, our father wants to say something. Uh, thank you, uh, prophet of God. My names are Avax and Kiura Mogo uh, from uh, Kenya. I'm in the problems. You have had misunderstanding with your relatives. You always disagree with them. Starting from when you were 17. You check you and your brothers, your sisters, there was a very great misunderstanding. Even leaving home, look at what happened. You always argue with others. You are not an easy man. It is through man of God. I was very argumentative when I was still young. After being employed, uh, I bought a rat. It was uh, four acres. I used my, fa my father's uh, name. Thereafter, my father uh, decided that I share that chamber with one of my brothers, mm -hmm. an issue which did not please me. The reason why I was not happy it's because my, my brother had not contributed anything. I myself, I was fighting for my right. Members of the family, majority of them, they were not happy. That brother of mine was given a, an acre out of, out of the shamba and, and already bought using my money, which I had uh, earned from my salary. I've never forgiven that uh, brother and uh, since I've seen problems arising on my side, I've decided to forgive all so, members of my family. Man of God, uh, I wanted to know the, whoever burnt my house. Where did you build the house you're talking about? I was in another uh, uh, training center called Kiajokoma, and it was a business uh, house. Where is the short man who used to stay there? Where you claim the house was burned? Yes. There was a man. Come. It's not the one. See you, no? Man of God, there is a, a man and, and a bride. And he was uh, staying still within that house. He was of the same size with this one. So you want to know who burnt your house? So, but you are arguing with people because of what happened to you? It is true, man of God. I argued with the people. Come, I pray for you. Get I... saved by the blood of Jesus. Father, help him. In Jesus. By name, I'm Pastor Joshua Onyancha, and I come from Kenya. I'm requesting uh, the man of God, the prophet, to help me understand uh, the root cause of my suffering. Ever since childhood, uh, I have lived in uh, suffering. I went to school under much suffering, and uh, even the years I've been in ministry, I have been struggling a lot. These issues are far beyond and your so, thinking. And, so, and uh, there was some family issues whereby the house or houses house were put on fire. And since that time, your family or your families have never been the same again. If you can remember the fire issue, mm, this is a big issue. What the man of God is saying is very true. I can remember the fire issue uh, first. Uh, my uncle's house 
that's a, a brother uh, to my father. Uh, his house was burned when uh, uh, we were young. And um, then uh, after that, I remember when I was uh, in high school, our house uh, was attempted to, to be burned three times. So how do you expect blessings in such a confused family? You people first lived in a place where by there were trees with thorns. Yeah, yeah. Prophet of God, what you are saying is very true. That the tree that you are describing was um, uh, at our at our ancestral land mm -hmm. many years ago i confirmed the prophecy man of god now come and get from jesus the blessing you didn't get come and get from jesus by the blood of jesus father is your son the power of god has touched him for his deliverance Put your hands. Take a wing alone. That's a blessing is enough for you. You come back and give your testimony. You'll be able to build a school. Your dream project. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My name is God Helps Mango Gurai. I'm from Zimbabwe. I've been fearing to, to start my, min, my ministry. I was looking for a man of God in similarity to one of a uh, man of God who died in Nigeria. He did not die. He, 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 passed, he passed on to the on, glory. He passed on to glory. We Christians who don't die, we pass on to glory because our home is in heaven. That's all. He, yes, he passed on to, to, to glory. You never and met him? I, I met him mm -hmm. in the dream. He gave me a, a, his Bible. Now what do you want? I'm here to, to, to pray for, for ordination to the ministry. If um, he gave you his Bible... I think that is great. What else do you want? In the Bible, there is everything you need. The anointing, the blessing. I need your guidance and you to pray for me because I've been fearing. You I need fear. to, to read the Bible. Only that your relatives went to that that a business men of god what what he said is is very true my family they went to sangoma issue yes they, they, they go so to sangoma when, issue. whenever you want to start yes, they terrify you and say, will i manage them that is the only worry you have what is what you are saying men of god is very true it's very true. I, I, I agree with Come you. Come, I pray for you so that you don't fear Sangoma. You think Sangoma is the one powerful. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have believed that the Lord is able to take care of your situation. Yes. How many have believed that the Lord is able to take care of your situation? How many believe that the Lord knows them? Does he know you? Does he take care? Does he love you? Say, oh Lord Jesus, I know that you love me and you are able to take care of my situation. Locate me, oh Lord. Put me in the position. Ask, ask him to put you in the position. Of blessing. Ask him, ask him. Lord, put me in the position where you want me to be. Prayer. 
prayer, prayer, prayer. Just step in the position where the Lord wants you to be. Prayer, 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 prayer. Ask him to put you in the position. Lord Jesus, put him in the position where you want me to be. Where my blessing will find me. Prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Say, oh Lord Jesus. I know you are able. Right now I put my situation into your hand. Lord Jesus, get involved. Get involved in my issue. Get involved in my situation. Prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Prayer, prayer. Lord Jesus, get involved. Get involved. In my situation. Can I hear you pray? Whatever the issues brought you here, ask Jesus to get involved. In your marriage, ask him to get involved. In your business, ask him to get involved. In your health, ask the Lord Jesus to get involved. Prayer. Prayer. Can I hear you pray? Prayer, 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 prayer. Saba, 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 saba. Prayer, 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 prayer. Good moon to Saba. Jesus, yes, get involved in my finances. Jesus, yes, get involved in my finances. In my office, in my business, in my marriage, in my affairs, in my relationship. Dr. Jesus, get involved. Prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Sabe. Ask Dr. Jesus to get involved in your situation. He knows prayer. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Saba, 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 saba. Ask him to get involved. Prayer. Ask him to get involved. Jesus, yes, my situation. I know you are able to get involved. My heritage, Jesus, yes, get involved. Sickness and disease, out. 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 Be here, be here, be here. Right now, touch, touch where you feel the pain. Mention what is troubling you. Diabetes, mention, mention. Sickness and disease. Sickness and disease. Diabetes. Leg problem. Asthma. In the mad name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name. Oh Lord Jesus. I am I command this sickness. I'm praying for you. Whatever the sickness. Oh Jesus. 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 Ah! 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 Ah!
Blessings upon your life. I receive. Blessings upon your life. I receive. Breakthrough in 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 your life. I receive. Favor upon your life. I receive. Favor upon your life. I receive. Favor upon your life. I receive. Salvation. I Salvation. I Salvation. I Prosperity. I receive. Receive in Jesus' soul. I receive. Now that the Lord knows you and is working upon your issue, stop worrying. Tell neighbor, stop worrying. Neighbor, stop worrying. Failure and defeat are things of the past. I wish you well. Let me see your jubilation. Because failure and defeat are just things of the past. He told them that the Egyptian you have seen, you see them no more. Say, Lord Jesus, that troubles I saw, those complications, I will see them no more. Your jubilation, your jubilation. Your jubilation. Your jubilation. Your jubilation.